The Cuban Missile Crisis of 1962 was a tense political and military standoff between the Soviet Union and the United States, which had the potential to escalate into a full-scale nuclear war. The crisis began when American spy planes detected Soviet missile sites in Cuba, which posed a direct threat to the United States. President John F. Kennedy and his administration demanded that the Soviet Union remove the missiles, and a diplomatic and military showdown ensued. If Russia had launched missiles during the Cuban Missile Crisis, the consequences would have been catastrophic. The launch of missiles by Russia would have triggered a full-scale nuclear war, resulting in the deaths of millions of people on both sides. The United States would have been forced to respond, and the world would have been plunged into a nuclear winter. The impact of such an event would have been global, with the destruction extending far beyond the borders of the United States and the Soviet Union. The global consequences of a nuclear war would have been devastating. The destruction of major cities, infrastructure, and critical resources such as food and water would have resulted in a catastrophic humanitarian crisis. The loss of life would have been catastrophic, with millions of people dying from the immediate effects of the nuclear explosion and the long-term effects of radiation sickness. The psychological impact of such an event would have been profound, with survivors suffering from trauma and PTSD for generations. The launch of missiles by Russia would have also had a significant impact on global power dynamics. The United States would have emerged as the undisputed superpower, with its military and economic might intact. The global balance of power would have shifted dramatically in favor of the United States, and it would have had a significant impact on global politics. The Soviet Union, on the other hand, would have been severely weakened, facing a global backlash and condemnation. The isolation of the Soviet Union would have made it impossible for them to sustain their economy, and it would have resulted in the eventual collapse of the Soviet Union. The decision to launch missiles would have been a grave mistake on the part of the Soviet Union. The Soviet Union was already facing economic and social problems at the time, and the launch of missiles would have further weakened its position. The global condemnation would have resulted in the isolation of the Soviet Union, with many countries cutting ties with them. The Soviet Union would have been unable to sustain its economy, and it would have resulted in social unrest and political instability. If Russia had launched missiles during the Cuban Missile Crisis, the consequences would have been felt for generations. The long-term effects of radiation sickness would have resulted in a significant increase in cancer rates, birth defects, and other health problems. The loss of critical infrastructure would have resulted in long-term economic stagnation, and the psychological trauma of the event would have had a lasting impact on the survivors and their families. The launch of missiles by Russia would have also had a significant impact on international relations. The world would have been forced to reevaluate its relationship with nuclear weapons and their use. The international community would have realized the catastrophic consequences of a nuclear war, and it would have resulted in a global movement for disarmament. The Cuban Missile Crisis served as a wake-up call for the world, and it resulted in the signing of the Partial Test Ban Treaty which prohibited nuclear testing in the atmosphere, space, and underwater. In conclusion, if Russia had launched missiles during the Cuban Missile Crisis, it would have been a catastrophic mistake with profound and long-lasting consequences. The decision would have resulted in the deaths of millions of people, the collapse of the Soviet Union, and a shift in global power dynamics. The Cuban Missile Crisis serves as a reminder of the importance of diplomacy and dialogue in resolving conflicts and avoiding catastrophic consequences. The crisis also serves as a warning of the devastating consequences of nuclear war and the importance of disarmament.